Hey guys, how's it going? Obviously you've read the title of the video already. If you are just a gun guy, you're probably like, why would you do that? That's stupid. But if you're into 3D printing, you might be like, okay, this is actually a cool idea. Let's uh, check this out. So the first question you're probably asking yourself is why? And specifically, this is why. So for a Christmas idea, I d couldn't really come up with anything. So I was like, screw it. Let's put a flashlight on this thing. So I just put a cheapo, like $20, $30 flashlight on my Christmas list. And it turned out to be pretty good. It does it does a good job. It's proven to be reliable so far. So I was like, screw it. Let's keep it on there. Keep it working. But when I decided I wanted to try and conceal carry this thing, well, now I can't. It doesn't fit in a standard holster because it's got a flashlight on it. The concealed carry holsters that are made for flashlights are flashlight specific most of the time. Well, like I said, this is just some cheapo thing. It doesn't have any name brand, no numbers, no nothing. So there are no holsters that fit this thing. So my only option, aside from just getting a new light, is it's like, screw it, why not? I have access to a uh, free 3D printer make a holster. So I spent a few hours on SolidWorks drawing this up. And you can see how everything lines up. So this here actually protruded. This has to do with the quick release. You pull it down to pull it off the rail. It is a spring loaded. You can see that? So that protruded out way too far. So I ground it down a ways but then gave it a track through here to ride. These sights obviously stick up a ways. So they've got a track. The, that there is for the takedown lever. And I forgot about the mag release because I'm kind of retarded. So after the fact, you can see right there where I just took my knife to it and chiseled it out. But it does work. Now, as far as getting the retention down, I wasn't about to try and measure it and get it exactly. The printer I was using doesn't print exactly how you want it to. So what I did was I got some little bolts and nuts there. You can see some little rubber hose that I cut up and put in there as spacers so that it won't just collapse down. This is solid in going out and being compressed. And then to make sure that these didn't come off, I Loctited them, got them uh, a little bit warm so that the Loctite actually set, and then cut and ground them flat. Obviously, this is my inside the waistband concealed carry holder. Fits on my belt there. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Eh. Eh. This is hard. But you get the point. It fits just fine. Okay, doing that by hand wasn't working out. But you can see this extra material right here. You can see where it ends down there, about halfway down. That right there indexes on the back of the flashlight. That's where my retention comes from. And this screw right here is what controls that. So it does have a actual interference fit. Uh, it's not just friction retention, it is in the way you have to give it a good little yank to get it out. So it's a little bit wobbly. It's like I said, it took me like two, three hours to make this file in SolidWorks. It's nothing fancy, but given the situation I was in and wanting to just see if I could do it, because why not? It worked pretty well. Now, once I had done that, I was like, oh, I don't have a hip holster for it. I have a leg holster that I don't really like. I want to carry it on my hip every now and then. So I took the exact same file that I already made. It had already worked took the belt clip off and made some angled uh, loops here on this side that fit on the belt just like you'd expect. Sits at an angle, angled slightly forward, makes it a little bit easier to get off the belt. Works flawless. One thing I forgot to point out here is this little lip right here. This one has it as well. So as I reholster it, the flashlight and the slide hit this as it goes back in. It's just a little bit of a taper, but more of a chamfer to help it slide in, but yeah, works awesome. And then this over here, I have a We The People mag holder that I lost. So I made this thing, if I can get it in there. 
Oh my God, you get the point. Works exactly the same, same way with the screws uh, as these, Loctited them. Uh, the printer happened to have green filament that day, don't really care. However, like I said, I have a We The People one that I actually found as I was doing this. And so I lost the motivation to actually cut these off and make it usable since I have a professionally done one. But another file that I made in like an hour and was going to have a spare mag holder as well. Uh, this, if you want to be hardcore, you don't want to do get anything cheap. I totally get it. Uh, if you think 3D printing a holster is stupid, totally get it. Don't use one of those. But this thing, it's really hard to go wrong. You know, it's just a friction fit, super easy. Honestly, this could be four bolts instead of six. It's super easy, nothing can go wrong here. So obviously, I'm not at the range today. I can't show you drawing it, drawing fire, whatever, hitting reloads out of the little mag pouch. It's a holster, you know. It's It works just as well as any other, uh, really. Like I say, it's got a little bit of wobble in it, but when it's pressed up against me, the pistol's up against me, it doesn't move. Um, I've done one, I think 1.46 was my best draw to fire time out of this holster, which that's like as good as I get, no more than I get to practice. So, um, it's not, it definitely doesn't slow me down at all. It's so it's loose enough. It's not slowing me down. Um, uh, but at the same time it has enough retention that when I'm working cows or out hunting or whatever, it stays right where it's supposed to just, it's a holster. It did, it did what I needed to do. And I, not to toot my own horn, but I did a pretty good job with that model. So, yeah, something you guys might think is fun. Um, a lot of people say that the possibilities are endless with 3D printers. If you can only print what you can find the files for, that's not really true because you're kind of limited. But if you're like me, you have access to 3D, uh, 3D modeling technology, then yeah, absolutely, the possibilities are endless. Um, this is one of many custom things that I have designed and used for myself. Since we're here, I might as well throw it in. Here's an ammo box that I printed. Holds 100 rounds, I think. Got a tab there on each side. Lid press is on. Popped right off. Works like a champ. So like I said, for someone like me who has 3D printing software, the, yes, the possibilities are pretty much endless. So nothing too fancy, uh, just a quick, easy video for me to put out uh, in case anybody's wondering, do 3D printed holsters work? Is it a good idea? Should I go for it? Yes, 100% you should.